Chase and Travis are getting the weights all set up to do the last part in our chorus seal project. So what we're doing right now is taking these plastic washers and basically propping the weights up on them because what we learned from our chorus seal video was that the uh, whatever we were painting would get stuck. So these washers should help hold it up off the um, cardboard. So that's what we're attempting to do right now. Alright, so we've decided to go with this Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel because with the Corusil you're supposed to use enamel based paint. Uh, we actually did a, a repair on a little table, a little aluminum table with the Corusil and painted over it with some latex paint and it didn't go so well. So whenever they say to use enamel based paint there's a good reason for it because it um, the latex base won't work. We're not really sure if we're going to uh, dilute the paint with this paint thinner. <laughs> I've honestly never used uh, enamel based paint like this outside of a spray can so this is a learning experience for us. So we'll see what, what it looks like when we get it open. All right, Beck. So this is the first coat. Uh, what would you say? Are we going to thin it or not? I definitely don't think that we need to thin it. It's already kind of pulling up, like here in the corner and around the letters, sort of like the Corusil did at first. Um, I'm a little nervous that this won't dry as well, so I definitely don't want to thin it. So one thing you'll notice. And I know this paint is wet, but I think it's going to maintain kind of a sheen anyway. Is that this is so much uh, shinier than the Corusil. Because if you look at this weight here that hasn't been touched, it does not have a sheen to it. And the enamel coated weights do. Alright, so Beck is painting on one of the 25 pounders for the first uh, time. The washers are not really working out because they're just unstable so they the weights fall off so we've just decided that if it dries to the cardboard we'll just peel it off and well there are a bunch of lead weights or iron weights so what difference does it make? Alright so now Chase is going to take his shot at painting. His approach is to go with a real light coat, which I think is probably going to be okay. Probably get a little bit more now, bub. So we've got this bird here that picks. Yeah, there's seed and everything. We don't really know why it does this. So now Trav's going to try his turn at painting some of the 25 pound weights. You can see that he's just getting started on this one. This one has not been painted. And these two have. So you can definitely see as Trav was talking about earlier that they are a little bit shinier than just the Corusil. So if you remember from our first video with this project, these weights were not rusted completely. They were painted and there was only rust where the paint had chipped off. So that's why... They look a little bit different than, oh, sorry about that sun. Turn around. These smaller, whoops, wrong way. Um, these smaller weights, which are probably the best example of the core seal since they were completely rusted from a flood in our outbuilding. 
So if you remember at the beginning of the video, we talked a little bit about using enamel paint. This was the table that Travis is talking about. Honestly, I was bored. The boys were finishing up. I thought, eh, I'm going to paint this little table blue. Painted it with Coraseal, let it dry, did that whole thing, and then painted it blue with some latex paint. Most definitely, as you can see, did not work out well. And originally, in our last video, we had used this table to prop up the bar, which you'll see here. Um, whenever we did it, the Coracil on it. So we're going to use this little table again to do that since it's already ruined. It was just a cheap little table we didn't care about anyway. So worked last time. We're going to use it this time. Alright, so Bex painting the bar. We were going to try to get all the adhesive off from the old sticky tape and stuff, but whatever. It's a weight lifting bar and we're going to be putting more tape on it when it's all said and done anyway so big whoop so you'll see right here where it's black that is actually where we painted this rusty table you can see here I didn't do a great job on the ends but painted the, the rusty table with the core seal and it turned all the rust black Whenever I painted over it with the latex, it didn't do such a great job of sticking, so the Coracil's kind of coming through. Um, definitely don't recommend painting with latex paint, and that's why. Hey guys, so it's the next day, and we had to leave these drawn overnight because as we were thinking the um, enamel did not dry nearly as fast as the core seal did. So it was also a lot cooler yesterday than it was the day that we did the core seal. But you can see that they look super shiny. I'm going to turn one over that has not been painted just for a little comparison here. Actually the other side is not painted. So you can see it's just a little more dull. Um, that's the washer that we were trying to use that didn't work out. But um, so we're going to flip all these over and paint the other side of them. Alright, so one thing you'll notice is that the 25 pound weights look a lot different on the unpainted side. And like we said, it's because we didn't strip the gray paint that was on there when we did the Coracil and just painted over it with the rusty spots. So it's a marked difference with the black. Yeah. Dog relaxing. Tata. Yeah, there you go. The weights are all painted and now Beck's putting on another coat on this bar. It'll dry a lot faster because it's in the sun. There was plenty of sun on the porch earlier, but it went away, so. Say la vie, I guess. And here are all the weights painted. How beautiful. So overall, we think this went pretty well. Um, we've used the weights a little bit today. Chase did. Um, on the 25 pounders it did not adhere as well so i don't know if that's because the coracil uh, didn't soak into the metal the same way that it did on the um, smaller weights one problem we did have was the same problem as last time um, even with the smaller weights is that anywhere the paint pulled up um, it still hasn't dried properly and that's been three days ago now so um, and the cardboard that they were sitting on got stuck to um, these and you can see that um, this is kind of sticky still it's like it never has solidified so I don't really know um, 
what to say about that. I do know that all the places where it didn't stick to the cardboard seem to have done okay on the small weights. So I guess my final verdict would be that um, Coracil works really well. It does its job at neutralizing rust, but when you go to paint over top of it, make sure that you can keep whatever you're painting up off of a cardboard surface. You have anything to add, Beck? Yep. Dog relaxing. And Tasty. Yeah.